Next tool I would like to show you is the stress deformed shape. Again, the same pulse transformer. And now the mechanical force is applied just above one of the legs of the transformer. Naturally, the transformer core deforms and our task is to find out how this deformation affects the magnetic field distribution. So first we should simulate the stress analysis problem. I will start quick field and open the stress analysis problem. Here it is. You can see the geometry model. In the stress analysis problem, I will simulate on the, the only the steel core and calculate the deformation in the core. So there is only one object, the steel core. Other blocks are excluded from the calculations. I specified the mechanical properties for the steel core. The bottom of the core is fixed and the force, the mechanical force is applied here. This is the mechanical force. Now let's simulate this case and take a look at the result. This is the deformed shape and von Mises, von Mises stress distribution. If we switch, if we open the field picture properties dialog, you can see that the deformed shape, the deformation is magnified. Actually, it is not that, not this great. Let's take a look at the 10 times scale deformation. Again, 10 times scaled. You can see that under the applied mechanical force, the core is deformated. Now I will use our free tool, the stress deform. And with these two, I will modify the geometry model file using the stress analysis simulation results. So I start this tool. The tool asks me to close all problem windows and open and solve the change in analysis problem. It is done. Then I should press OK to transfer deformations from the results to the model. I press OK. Now the transformations are transferred in a geometry model. When the transformation is done, we can see the dialog offering us to see the transformed model.
Now here is the transformed GMT model. Let's simulate again the magnetic problem and find out how this transformation affects the magnetic field distribution. Again I start quick field and choose the deformed geometry model. Here is the deformed geometry model. It's, it looks pretty the same as the unloaded model. Because the deformation are really very, very small. But let's take a look at the simulation result. Here I'm solving the transient magnetic problem. And you can see the field distribution. I will open the previously calculated original problem Now the left is undeformed shape of the core and the right is deformed shape. The transformation the deformation was very small, but nevertheless there is the change in the magnetic field distribution. The air gap here is a bit smaller than the air gap here, so the field distribution is not symmetrical anymore. 